Karen Belmutis, I'm invasive ductal cell carcinoma. I'm 39, I was 38 when I was diagnosed. I just was taking a shower like every day and it took a little bit of me being stubborn me and I got an order for a mammogram and an ultrasound and went and they said you need to come in for a biopsy and they had that done and I got my results and they asked me who the surgeon was that I wanted and somehow I pulled Dr. Colfrey's name out of nowhere because I had no idea who he was and I had a double mastectomy in November of last year and I had four rounds of chemotherapy from January to March of this year and now I am on aromatase inhibitors, uh, estrogen blockers, just block the body from producing estrogen because my tumor was um, estrogen and progesterone positive and Herceptin negative. So I did get neuropathy in my hands and feet from the chemotherapy. The first round, probably within a week, I started having issues with the neuropathy. We had to lower the dose and I started having numbness, tingling, burning in my feet first and then a little bit in my hands. So we lowered the dose, finished the rounds and then I started seeing uh, Judy here and doing the anodyne. And then I uh, noticed that I was having a feeling of fullness in my chest and pain in my shoulder that I thought was me sleeping wrong and I work in the ER and we do a lot of things that, you know, sometimes you pull muscles, nothing was getting rid of it. Liz tried a little bit of the lymphatic drainage to see if that might possibly help and it did almost immediately. We started working on that so now I come here twice a week to get the lymphatic drainage and the anodyne. The neuropathy was pretty bad. I do remember at one point, especially when I wasn't really sure how to manage it and I was trying to get back into exercising again and trying to keep things as normal as possible because I worked through chemo. So I was trying to get back into my exercise routine and there was one time where my hands just like went numb. I couldn't tie my shoes <laughs> because I just wasn't aware of the restrictions or like what exercise to do, what exercise not to do. So it's definitely a good resource that I needed to know what my limits were within different time frames so that I could work my way up to back to normal, as normal as it's gonna be. For me. So it, it's been very helpful because I was very worried about lymphedema and working out is something that I've always loved to do and I did not want to give that up. I've been able to transition back to that. It's excellent. I love it. I would not go anywhere else. I, I love all of my Toro providers. <laughs> it's a nice man. I'm not a survivor. I'm a conquistadora.